Proper wound care is essential to promote healing of the skin and to have a good cosmetic result after the wound has healed. Dr. Deb Wally, a board-certified plastic surgeon at Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center, tells us why wound care is a specialty of plastic surgery. The field of plastic surgery is a field of wound care because plastic surgery was developed, you know, during World War I where, we were, where everybody was faced with a number of traumatic wounds that nobody had seen before. And that's kind of how the specialty grew in creating innovative ways and techniques to deal with chronic wounds or acute wounds or traumatic wounds. Practice of wound care today is mostly involved with understanding the science behind what uh, causes the wound and then understanding what the different kinds of treatments there are, whether it be surgery or one of the new techniques that have come about uh, in wound care, such as different kinds of uh, medicines, different kinds of dressings, and understanding basically the whole science of medicine and surgery of wound care. Dr. Wally discusses when someone should seek medical attention for a wound. If you have a wound that hasn't healed within two weeks, then you have to consider what else is going on. Why hasn't it healed? Is it infected? Is there some other problem? I'm not saying that you shouldn't get looked at for two weeks, but that's how a plastic surgeon a lot of times will look at a wound or look at a burn or look at other things that we will try the basic wound care regimens. And if within two weeks it has not healed just using the most basic regimens, then we have to consider something else because most wounds, uncomplicated, will heal within two weeks unless there is something else complicating it. Diabetes is obviously a very large source of wounds and mostly because when di people have diabetes they lose sensation in parts of their body and they end up getting wounds because if you can't feel the area as well you end up wounding it unintentionally obviously and that's a big source of wounds. Dr. Wally talks about the treatment options. There's a number of options available to uh, treating a wound and it really requires understanding of what is the cause of the wound. So if somebody is diabetic and they have a wound then we have to figure out is the wound because of the, the sugar is too high or it has an infection because the sugar is too high or there's a number of uh, processes that need to be clarified with each wound because each wound is different. In general they all revolve around trying to eliminate uh, any potential infection in the area and they revolve around uh, trying to uh, not get the wound to dry out and so all of a lot of the things that we use are trying to do those things and if you can successfully do, do those things in addition to figuring out what the causes of the wound then you have a treatment that could be very effective. As far as scarring is concerned we're getting a lot better in understanding what the factors are that create bad scars or problematic scars. And that's a big step forward in understanding how to prevent them from happening. But we don't have as much knowledge yet on how to change a scar once it has happened. And so that's where I think the next step, one of some of the next steps are. Dr. Wally talks about the success of wound treatments. You can treat a wound and it could take six months to be healed, or you could treat a wound and it could take six days to be healed. They're both considered success, but the length of time that it takes to heal is what really creates the inconvenience and the problems for patients. And so we are successful eventually healing most wounds, but I think the real improvement lies in the speed at which we can get them to heal. And that is really where I think the science is really trying to push in the understanding of what is, uh, how the wounds heal and giving the right treatment to get it to heal as quickly as possible. And speeding that process up with the application of the medical technologies such as surgery or dressings or um, different kinds of other processes that we use.